Hi everyone, I hope you're doing okay. Um, apologies, first of all, for the clickbait title. <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna call it something like um, A Month in the Hobonichi Cousin, Do I Still Like It? Um, and the short answer is yeah, I really do. <laughs> just FYI. Um, just as a disclaimer, if you don't want to watch the too long didn't read, like the... Yes, I really really like it and I'm surprised at how much I like it. After the shop update last week, I am a bit tired, <laughs> um, by which I mean my brain has turned to sand. Um, there's really nothing left up there, <laughs> like it's it's gone, it's, it's a bit dead. Um, because of that, I took this week off, really. Um, I've not done a lot apart from writing my book. I am just kind of being, I'm just existing, um, which as an autistic person, I do always think is a very important part of self-care, um, is just acknowledging those limitations and acknowledging when you hit that wall, um, because otherwise you will get burnt out and that is bad, <laughs> um, to put it very, very simply. Um, I think I've spent most of my life burnt out and I'm really not eager to find myself, like, right back in the pits of it. I've spent so much of my life so burnt out that I don't know if I'm still burnt out or not because I can't remember what each one feels like almost, like everything is just blurry tiredness all the time. Um, so because I feel especially tired after the shop update last week, I was overworking until 10pm each night, that kind of thing. Um, I was compulsively checking my phone for work emails, um, customer service stuff, like I just, my brain is sand. <laughs> Um, so because of that, no attic archives this week. I thought instead we could talk about my Hobonichi cousin because it has been a whole month. Um, simultaneously, probably the longest and shortest month of my life. Um, I feel like it's taken a long time to pass, but at the same time, it hasn't, I guess. I don't know. Um, it do kind of be like that sometimes. <laughs> Um, this is actually my second audio take because I can't pace myself. I'm so excited when I talk about it that I'm not pacing myself when I'm talking and then I'm getting really breathless and it's kind of embarrassing because I'm asthmatic. So I'm just wheezing audibly into my phone. <laughs> um, so this time I'm going to try and pace myself. Like, it's hard because notebooks and journaling and talking about them are a special interest for me. So when I talk about them, I get excited. And I do talk too fast, okay? It's a character flaw, it always has been. <laughs> um, I can't, I can't slow down. So, I thought we could talk about it. The final disclaimer is that I know my nails are a mess. Um, just, tr if you're a nail person, just don't look at them, okay? It was a busy week last week, my dad was away as well, so I couldn't book a nail appointment. Um, I have an appointment tomorrow. I did also break one, we're just not gonna talk about it. <laughs> Please ignore them, okay? I'm not, like, negligent, I know they're bad. I'm working on it. <laughs> um, just don't look, even though they're ugly and I'm embarrassed. My Hobonichi cousin. I I never thought that I would be so happy in an A5. I, further from that, I never thought that I would be in the A5, full stop. When I first got into Hobonichi a couple of years ago, I never thought that I would buy the A5 book. Um, I just didn't expect it. <laughs> um, and then I had that whole identity crisis, a crisis of faith, if you will, um, in my planning system uh, last month. And um, I bought it on like a real impulse. And I think it's changed my life. I know that as a planner person, as a notebook person, every time you start a new system, it's so easy to be like, I think it changed my life. I think this is the one, you guys. Um, but I think this is the one, you guys. So I'll talk about it. I'll move chronologically through the book because I always think that's the easiest way to do it. Um, although that does mean we have to start with the index, <laughs> um, which is empty. I have plans for this. I do have plans for the index. My plans are to use it as an index, <laughs> are to use it as a contents page, an index of topics for my commonplace section. Um, for new viewers or those who don't know, I use my daily pages as my commonplace book. Um, and so I want to use the the dates and the pages um, as an index. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a better way to word that. Basically, for the correlating day and date on the page that I'm using, I'll write down the topic here. And that way, next year when I'm looking for stuff, I can find it easier in the index. Um, I did test writing some of this out with just pen, but I didn't like how it looked. What I want to do is use the eight millimeter, no, the five millimeter, the five millimeter Stalogy dots um, 
I use these to tag my commonplace entries and I want to be able to match that on here so it looks nice. Um, I don't want it to just be text <laughs> because it's kind of boring. I really want to use the 5mm Stylogy dots and I can't find them. I even thought that I ordered some and they came and they were still the 8mm ones. Um, and unless I'm confused that these are actually 5mm, um, it'd be really embarrassing if I check this on camera and it turns out they are. <laughs> but they're not. No, look, no. 8. 8 millimeters. The 5 would be here. So I want the 5 millimeter ones because they'll fit in the squares. Um, I can't find them in the UK. If you're a UK viewer and you know where to get them and they're in stock, can you drop me an email please? <laughs> because I've been looking and I can't find them anywhere and it's really bothering me. Um, I just, I don't want to do this until I have the dots. <laughs> um, so it's a nuisance. It is a nuisance. But that's the plan for these pages. I just haven't done it yet. Um, and then moving on to the calendar. Um, I use it as a calendar. Um, it really doesn't get that interesting until we get to the commonplace book because everything else is just used as intended. So on my calendar pages I have um, events and appointments, that kind of thing, tasks, um, things that are happening on specific days. And then on the left hand side I have a to-do list. So these are just things I have to do at some point in the month. Um, what I'll tend to do is plan that stuff in advance. So um, if, for example, I knew I was going somewhere next month and I had to buy, like, I don't know, a pair of shoes for it, <laughs> I would write that in the calendar in advance so I knew that I had to do it. Um, that's not something I would put in my weekly pages so far in advance. Um, so it's just nice to have somewhere else to do it. It also means I can write something really vague, like plan a shop update, <laughs> um, and then it just reminds me to think about it throughout the month, um, that kind of thing. Um, on this page, I had a list of ghosts I wanted to draw um, for the shop update that should have happened a time ago but got messed up. Um, and then I think on these pages, yeah, I just have some books I read, which again is nice. <laughs> um, Otherwise, though, in these boxes, I just write some small stuff about how the month is progressing, like how things are going, stuff I'm doing. Um, like if I meet a particular friend, I might make some notes about it. Um, this one, my friends Natasha and Ben visited me, so I wrote about that there. We went to a coffee shop and... what does that say? Oh, <laughs> I know what it says, but I won't say it out loud. Um, my handwriting is not legible for me, in case you were wondering. Like, sometimes you guys that, like... There's a recurring comment where someone thinks I write in code. And I really wish that was true. <laughs> I really wish I was smart enough to be writing in code, but in actuality I just write so fast that my handwriting isn't legible. Um, I do really wish that was the case, because that would be very cool. Like, that would really up my street cred. Um, on this page, I erased this so much that I put a hole through the back of the page. I don't know if you can see. What I did was use one of the... Hobonichi Weeks notebooks, like the supplement notepads, and I patched it, um, and so the grid matches up completely and it's quite sort of like not noticeable. Um, just in case anything like that ever happens to you, you can patch it and the grids will match up. <laughs> um, so yeah, not perfect books, they just look neat. <laughs> um, sometimes I do get frustrated and put a hole in the page, um, but there we go. Um, yeah, I think that's all there is to say about the monthly pages, really, because I just, just write about the month. Um, I use some stickers here. It's kind of fun. I use a lot of my own stickers. When I design stuff for my shop, I try to only make things that I would also use. Um, I think that's a good practice. <laughs> um, but it does mean that I do use a lot of my own stickers. Um, I like how they look, though, because I made them, so... <laughs> yeah. These gold ones, I think I buy these from Ryman's now. I can't remember. Um, and these ones are, I don't know, they're like AliExpress stickers, you can buy them from a lot of places, they're normally drop shipped. Um, you can get them from Stationery Pal. I think that's where mine are from. Um, but yeah, I love their funny little, their funny little faces. Um, that's it really, apart in these pages. Um, I will say that April is empty. I've not been keeping up. Um, if any section of the book is neglected or falls behind quickly, it's definitely the calendar. Um, but thankfully I use my commonplace pages and my weekly sections so like loyally, so routinely, that I can backfill this quite easily. 
Um, it is the kind of thing where I'm like, oh, I don't use it that much, but then if I didn't have it, I would feel the loss because some months I really need that layout of the whole month on one page. I need to be able to see how the days are fitting together, if that makes sense. Um, so I'll back for this, it's not an issue. <laughs> um, I'm not worried because I have all the information elsewhere. Um, it's just that this month I've been so focused on week to week that I've not been looking at the big picture. <laughs> um, so she's a little empty, but I'll catch that up the next couple of days. Um, okay, I'm hopefully pacing myself. <laughs> I'm so paranoid about it. The weekly pages, um, they look very busy, but it's not that deep, so don't do it, be intimidated. Um, again, on the left-hand side, I keep a to-do list. This is stuff I need to work on throughout the week, or just things that I would ideally like to get done. So it can be something like answering emails or doing laundry. <laughs> um, I am always procrastinating laundry, so that's always in there. Um, or it can be making the video and then what I'll normally do is take a big task and split it down over a couple of days um, That tends to be kind of how it works. I think so if I write film an attic archives video, I'll add like I'll add film clips <laughs> and then film audio later in the week and then edit later in the week that kind of thing I kind of break it down um, it's weird to think about because I do it kind of without thinking, so trying to explain it is a bit weird. Um, but that sort of, that sort of thing. Um, or if I need to get my nails done, here I wrote get nails done and then put a question mark because I wasn't sure if I was going to, but in the end I did. So here I have an appointment for it, 2 to 3 p.m. <laughs> um, but here it had a question mark, so it's that sort of thing where I just keep a general list on the side and then a more specific list each day. Um, hopefully, hopefully that makes sense. Um, down here I'm tracking my habits, I guess. These are just practices that I think are important for my health. Um, so engaging with a special interest, drinking one bottle of water a day, doing a little bit of work because some days it's just not practical for me to do a lot, um, and then a self-care activity which recently has been commonplacing. Um, but then this week has been The Sims 4, <laughs> so this one, Sims 4, <laughs> um, that's what I've been doing with my brain full of sand, It's just playing The Sims 4. It's nice because you have to use your whole brain to play, like you have to actively think about the game, so it stops me from compulsively checking my work emails or checking my DMs for customer stuff, and it's just like it's nice to take that break. I normally take an hour a day at the moment to check that stuff and then the rest of the time I try to play The Sims so that I can't compulsively keep checking um, and I think it's kind of working so there we go. Throughout the week I just have my daily tasks. I normally try and assign a rest day once or twice a week. Um, last week I had three, I had one to recover from the previous week and then I had two at the end of the week after the shop update. Um, and then honestly this whole week should just be rest days, but I haven't done it yet. Um, I sometimes put a little book sticker when I'm talking about the books I'm reading. So this one I was reading Crooked Kingdom. Um, this one I finished reading The Raven Boys and Six of Crows. Um, that was a good month, a good week for books. Um, it's just nice to be able to flick through and instantly see what I was reading when. It's cute, finish reading Crooked Kingdom, <laughs> uh, it's fun. So this week I think was the week I got all my cassettes, so I put the music, the earphones, the earphones sticker, um, so I could remember that that's what I was doing. Um, and these are all my own stickers again, um, so yeah, it's fun. At the bottom of these pages I track my evening routine. I don't know why this one's not all ticked off. Um, Kind of weird but there we go i do these things every night they don't really need to be tracked because i don't forget to do them my whole evening rotates <laughs> around the evening routine so it's kind of second nature at this point i just like to have it there i just think it's kind of nice to help break up the page um and they are also tasks that are important to me so i guess that's why i keep them there um for anyone interested <laughs> they're showering doing my skincare taking my migraine meds and then practicing Welsh. Um, those are all very important to me, <laughs> so yeah, those are there. At the end of the week, I draw a purple line under the last the last passage or the last text, I guess, of the week. I just think it's kind of nice to be like, the week is over, <laughs> like she's gone, she's dead. Um, it's done. I just, I think it's kind of nice. It's nice to have the pop of colour, um, but some weeks it's more noticeable and others it's not. I think that's kind of the nature of using pale 
highlighters. Like, I don't know why this one is so pale. Um, but there we go. I just think it's nice. Um, I will say that in my weekly section, I try not to use too many stickers. This week, for example, there was only one sticker and that was nice. <laughs> um, and then the first week I started the book, I put a couple. Or like a few. And then this week, a few. But it means that there's not a lot of pressure every week to keep having to add and find more stickers. One thing that started to really bother me when I was using the Hobonichi Weeks book was that I would procrastinate putting the stickers in. But then I didn't like how the book looked or how the pages looked when there were no stickers at all. It kind of bothered me. Um, I didn't like that it was just a wall of text. I wanted something to brighten it up a bit, to break up some of the text. Um, so I would really procrastinate putting the stickers down. And it just became such like a, like I wasn't enjoying it and that sucks. Like if you're not enjoying using your book, then it's sad <laughs> and you won't keep up with it. Like if I'm not enjoying it, I find it so hard to do it. And that goes for everything in my life. <laughs> I'm really bad at doing stuff that I'm not enjoying. I procrastinate everything. Um, so having fun is part of the job. <laughs> um, so I, I try to have a little stickers as a treat. Um, but not too many. So on weeks when I'm tired, I can just have that one. Um, yeah, I use a lot of my own stickers on these pages. This one, again, just a couple. Um, the little coffee is one of my favourites. <laughs> um, and then the work one as well cracks me up because I can have a happy work or a sad work. I normally try to use the happy work. <laughs> sad work. <laughs> um, I drew those and they just, they make me laugh. I thought they're funny, so... Um, that's all that's happening. I recently started tracking when I wear my glasses because I don't do it enough um, and it's bad for my eyes. I'm really aggressively short-sighted um, but I wear contacts all the time for like 12 hours a day. I once went to the optician and he asked me how long I wear them for and I was like oh you know like five or six hours a day and he said to me you can lie to me but your eyeballs can't and I was like oh <laughs> okay so I guess you could see like the wear and tear on my eyes. Um, so I'm trying to make an effort to wear my glasses more. I normally try and wear them all evening and sometimes I'll wear them in the morning. So what I'll do is I spend the mornings downstairs and then when I come upstairs to work after lunch, I'll put my contacts in then instead of first thing in the morning. Um, just to try and have those extra few hours, I guess, with my glasses. Um, but my glasses make me kind of dizzy, so I don't wear them a lot. But then the reason they make me dizzy is because I don't wear them a lot, so... It's not relevant, but there you go, a fun fact. Okay, are we ready for this? Yeah. Okay, my commonplace section. This is the fun bit. This is the bit where I get too excited and I get too distracted, although that's already been happening. I... I'll take a deep breath. <laughs> I'm having a really good time using this section of my book. I This is the part that surprises me about using the A5 book because filling in the calendar and the weekly pages is fine. That's kind of like, you just do that. But the, I can't believe how much fun I'm having using the daily pages, my commonplace pages. Um, I don't think I expected myself to... I don't know. Like, I don't think I realised how important it would be for me to have more room to be creative visually, I guess, or to document stuff in a more visual way. Um, when I used my Hobonichi Weeks book before, and even when I was using my field notes... I guess, because the pages were smaller, I wasn't sticking a lot of stuff in, and then I wasn't really able to identify just from the text what was going on at each time. Now, because I glue so much stuff in, which wasn't really intentional, but I am really enjoying it and I'm going to carry on. <laughs> um, now when I flick through, I can, I can really quickly identify the period of my life that I made the pages in, if that makes sense. Um, and I don't think I ever expected that to be such a big part of my practice, but it is. Um, and I feel a lot better for it. <laughs> um, I feel like I remember so much more of this month than I normally would, just because I have all of those visual references in my pages. Um, for those who don't know, I have some really bad and recurring and, like, long <laughs> issues with my memory. Um, I just have a lot of trouble retaining anything. It's, it's a whole thing. Um, so... I have a really hard time with the fact that I don't recall a lot from my life, like my whole life is just kind of blurry and hazy and then it's gone and I don't have any memory of it when I go back. Um, it's something that I find very upsetting 
so to have this visual reference is like part of the whole reason why I, ma I make videos first of all but also why I keep my books it's why this has been such like a compulsive practice for so much of my life um yeah so it's just it's so nice I will talk about my key and then I'll show you but it's just really cool to have so many pictures to look at and like when I flick through the month of April in here I can remember every every phase <laughs> every hyper focus I went through and everything I was thinking and feeling and talking about and everything that I was collecting and researching and stuff and it's just it's really nice like I can't believe it took me so long to get here I guess is my point um but there we go I will very quickly talk about my key again just because people are always asking <laughs> um and I do talk about it a lot but hopefully hopefully more people will now know um, so again, I use the 8mm Stalogy index dots. I got these from the journal shop in the UK. Um, I really like them. You can use cheaper dots, or you can use a pen, or you can use a mark. Um, you can use like a stamp pen. Um, I use these even though they're a bit pricey because I really like the colours. I love these colours for my book. Um, so I buy them. Um, okay. The grey one is for my very literal commonplacing, so that's for any kind of copied text. Um, I use the term commonplacing very loosely <laughs> nowadays because I combine my journal and my commonplacing. Traditionally, a commonplace book from back in the day would not have your journal in it, it would be a separate book. But part of moving to this book was so that I could have everything in one place. Um, and I like it that way. <laughs> so I refer to it as my commonplace book in like a very literal way because it is my common place it is the place where everything goes um so there we go <laughs> as well as containing my other commonplace book by definition of the word i guess um but any copy text articles quotes um just well anything copied basically um any kind of research topics um that kind of thing the blue one is for work stuff so anything to do with illustration youtube shop planning um, sometimes I'll just make really vague notes about stuff I want to work on one day, um, that kind of thing. Or I'll write about like how a shop update went and then I'll tag that with blue as well. Um, and then this purple one is for miscellaneous personal stuff, so that's primarily my brain drain. Um, I am one very small autistic person with a lot going on <laughs> in my head. Um, I have a lot of things to micromanage in my life and I have a really hard time doing it in case that wasn't obvious <laughs> by now. Um, I find it very hard to stay on task, I find it very hard to keep focused, um, I just feel like my brain is always working so fast and simultaneously somehow so slow, it's not an efficient system, <laughs> but it means that I frequently feel like I need to clear some space, like my shrink taught me to think about my brain like an attic or a hard drive, sometimes you have to move boxes out or delete files to make room for other new stuff. So when I get stressed or I have a lot going on, I find I have to do a lot of writing to try and help empty out my brain so that I have room to think about the things that I'm meant to be thinking about, if that makes sense. Um, kind of a game changer when she gave me that analogy <laughs> because it really helped me to understand things better for myself. Um, so I do a lot of brain draining and that's the purple dot, that's the majority sticker you'll see throughout. I do that maybe once or twice a day, like it's a lot, it's a lot going on up there. Um, the pink, purpley pink one is for Autistic Sherlock Holmes. Autistic Sherlock Holmes is my oldest and biggest special interest, my consistent companion, if you will. Um, I make a lot of notes about that sometimes, other times less so, but I like to be able to quickly find and identify them when I need them. Um, that's normally when I'm stressed, I just like to reread. Um, or I just like to look at the pictures. <laughs> um, there are no pictures yet in here, but there will be soon, probably. Um, and then the really pink pink dot is for other special interest stuff. Um, so spooky stuff um, or other autistic references and information. So if I was going to change a routine, I would maybe make notes about it and remind myself why I was doing it. And I would tag it with the pink dot because it's like autistic notes. Um, again, it just helps me to identify things quicker when I'm looking for information, when I'm like backflipping. Um, yeah, these are my... my tasks no my topics <laughs> um they should be different for everyone um obviously you work them out as you go along but those are the topics that i consistently pull from um so that's how it works the only other dot i have down here which i always forget about um is my black index dot um on the same sticker sheets but it's for images that are commonplace entries in their own right so on the first pages i have a couple of artifacts 
I saw these online, <laughs> um, I thought they were really cool, I wanted to keep them, so I printed them out and stuck them in. They're not relevant to the text, the text is brain drain, um, but because I kept them here, I tagged them with their own dots so that I know what they are. Um, these are the sources, <laughs> um, so normally what I do is I stick it in, I add the dot, and then on either side of the grey line I'll add the sources for the images. Um, so this one is a zodiac from the 14th century, it's the little goat. Um, and this one is a Christian artifact, also from the 14th century. <laughs> um, so I have the sources and I can find out where I found the pictures from. Um, it's just nice. I like to collect things that I think are neat. So <laughs> it's just that Marge Simpson meme where she's like, I just think it's neat and she's holding a potato. Like, that's just my whole book. It's just, I just think things are neat. <laughs> I like to collect information and pictures, okay? I just think it's neat. So there we go. I didn't tag the black dot on these ones because these are just relevant to my journaling. Um, this one is just the X-Files because I was watching the X-Files. And this one is just a sheep meme that says, we came to warn you about falling into vicious cycles of self-destruction because when I started the book, I was not doing so good. Um, so I just thought that was kind of funny. And now it's a funny reminder that I started this and I discovered this because I was doing bad. Um, and it did help stop me from falling into a vicious cycle of self-destruction, so there's that. Um, this one, I would normally also tag one up here. Um, this is a Sylvia Plath quote. I didn't quote it, um, I didn't tag it rather, because I know what it is, um, and there was no room, <laughs> but I would normally tag text as well. Um, I think I stuck it up there afterwards, that's why, because there was a space and it fit. So. There we go. Okay, I need to take a deep breath because I'm getting too excited again. <clears throat> this page is some text from a New Scientist article about migraines. Um, I can't link it because it's not online, it was a print article. And you have to pay to access the website, and I do not currently pay to access the website. <laughs> um, we used to have a family subscription but it got so expensive that we cancelled it and now every now and then I just buy the magazine. Um, but it was a very good article about migraines. I have chronic migraines, they are a consistent issue in my life, they always have been. Um, I was really really poorly with them as a kid, um, so I don't know. This was a really interesting article about new research into auras and post rooms. Um, if you don't know what those are, it's okay, you don't need to know. <laughs> um, if you don't know what those are, I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, but I kept the information because I thought it was really interesting. And then when I start to get a migraine, I can go back and read these different bits about how they feel with different people and I can help identify my own issues quicker. Um, so that's a really good example of a commonplace entry that I've chosen to keep. Um, and I think ultimately with commonplacing, I like to copy things out by hand. I have the paper, the paper copy of this article somewhere in here, I think, it's like tucked in the pages. I swear I had it. <laughs> oh. So this is the article, <laughs> um, and I, or it's part of it anyway, I copied it out because I think when you write things out by hand it's more deliberate, it helps you to remember things better. If you're reading it and then you write out each single word, I think it just helps it stick. Um, so for me it's a practice I really enjoy. For other people you might have just stuck it in, <laughs> you know, you might have just stuck in the whole page and that that's still commonplacing. Um, but for me, I like to write it out. I like to to read it and to think about it and then to immortalize it on the paper. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, down here in the Lotus Sherlock Holmes note, um, a coffee sticker. Here, I was actually tracking a migraine while it was happening, so that was interesting. Um, this page, I have the black dot for the different pieces of clothing. I wrote about which fashion house or whatever, which designer they came from. Um, I just thought they were really cool. I would love to have more spooky clothes in my wardrobe. Not these specifically because they're really expensive, but I just thought they were really cool. <laughs> um, this one is a sticker from a vinyl, um, the Wet Leg album. Um, some notes on commonplacing. Uh, brain drain, <laughs> a lot of brain drain all the time. Um, this was also continued notes on commonplacing, that's why I've drawn the arrow is to show that it's continued down here. Um, how I use this space, I think I forgot to mention, is that I use the top half of the book for commonplacing, so I disregard the dates on the page. And then I normally leave the bottom half of the page blank, and I use that as a journal space for the specific day if I want to use it. Um, other times I do just fill it in when I want to, um, but because I do so much writing in all the different parts of the book, it doesn't really matter. Um, I try to leave the space for the day. 
but if I don't and I want to use it it's not a big deal because I do have all that other room so hopefully that makes sense. Um, here I was writing about when I got my ghost cards, my gloomies, printed for the first time. Um, those of you who are regular viewers know that this whole shop update was an absolute disaster. <laughs> Um, but it was still very emotional for me to see them and to hold them physically after drawing them for like two months. Um, I have like 30 cards now and it was really exciting to get to hold them all and to shuffle between them in my hands. Um, at the time I was so sad <laughs> um, and tired and just kind of exhausted from the mess of it all, from everything that went wrong, that I felt very numb to it when they arrived. I didn't really feel that emotional. I just felt kind of like dead. <laughs> Um, but I made these pages because I knew that eventually I would be really happy to have the memories. Um, and I'm there now, so that's nice. I do feel that way now. Um, so I have a sticker of them all in the box, there were so many. And then how I organised them, and then packing them on my desk, and the card packets, and then the sticker I made for the envelopes. It's just nice now because I can see this and I can remember all of this. These images help me to think, oh, I remember when I was doing that. I remember when that happened. <laughs> I remember how it made me feel, I guess. Um, and this is what I mean by I didn't expect to do so much of this, like to print out memories and keep them. Um, if I was still using my field notes book, I don't think I would have printed these out in the same way, and that's so strange for me to think about. And even if I had, because the images are quite big to be able to see what's going on in them, they'd be like a page each, and that would suck. Like it's nice to have them on one spread because the pages are so much bigger. Um, I guess is, is kind of what I'm trying to say. Like, when I bought the A5 book, I don't think I realised how well it was going to fit into that hole in my life. Um, just to be able to have the room to express what I want to express on one page. Like, this one spread is about the gloomies, and that's really nice. <laughs> so, there we go. Not sure if that makes sense, but hopefully someone gets me. <laughs> um, there's one overflow, but that was from a different day, so it doesn't really matter. Um, this sticker is from when I went to Choosing Keeping in April, um, that was really exciting. I just jumped and the dog jumped because I thought there was a rumble of thunder but I don't think it was. No, settle. Um, weather makes her nervous so if she starts whining please bear with me. No, settle, settle. Um, this page on commonplacing, some more commonplacing notes. Whenever I start a new commonplace book, a new commonplace book, I like to make some notes on commonplacing. Um, I just think it's kind of a fun way to introduce the book and also to remind myself of the kind of stuff I want to be collecting and keeping throughout time. Um, down here, actually, 10-4, um, you can see that I actually did use the journal entry on the correlating day. Um, so that was cool. <laughs> um, I don't do that very often in the beginning of this book because I was too excited and kept filling the pages. Um, but on this day I did. And often what I'll do is when I write in this space, like this one was the 29th of March, I will write the date in brackets just so I know which day I'm actually writing from. Um, and that means that even if I forget to fill the space on the particular day, I can still go and backfill it with other thoughts a different day. Um, and that's something I do quite a lot. <laughs> um, so this one was the 13th of April, but it's the 11th of April on the page. Um, so I guess what I'm trying to say is I mostly disregard the date. Um, and that's the easiest way to look at and understand how I use my books is like the date doesn't matter. It's just paper. <laughs> um, the same article on commonplacing. I drew this, this arrow to show that it carried on from the previous page. Um, so it's information that carried across, and that's why it's there. I can't remember what the second arrow means. <laughs> it might mean that I was writing here, and then this same text carried across here. That might be what that means. Um, not sure though, to be honest. This artifact had no reference, so I didn't tag it and I didn't give it a source. It had no source, I couldn't find where it was from. I even reverse googled it and I couldn't find it, so there we go. I don't think it is an artifact, I think it might be a modern day object <laughs> um, and it just looks cool and old but I don't know where it's from so I can't find it. This one is a Yushitomo Nara art piece, I really like it, it's one of my favourites, it's called Sleepless Night or Cat in brackets um, and it's one of my favourites because of the fangs, I just think it's cool. Um, so I've tagged that with the back door and given it a source. Um, Brain Drain, these were some tapes I bought, I was keeping track of the tapes, same on this page, it's just tapes. Um, brain Drain, a book I was reading, talking about a book, probably Crooked Kingdom. <laughs> um, oh no, it was The Raven Boys, I was writing about The Raven Boys, so there we go. 
that's different not Crooked Kingdom for once. Um, here I met my friend for coffee and that was a really nice day, I remember that. I think this is my favourite page in the whole of the month so far, I really like it. I like the combination of bits stuck in and the colours, I just, like if there's an ideal page it's this one. <laughs> um, I'll forever be trying to live up to the colours on this page. Um, I think everything just worked together really nicely and I think it's actually one I catalogued on camera, like I caught it on camera, so that's cool. Um, again, this is the source for the image. Um, this one, I'm not so sure, but there we go. This page, brain drain, a packing list for traveling, um, a quote, a nebula. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to have a nebula stuck in there. Um, and something, oh, commonplace for the text. There we go. Um, this one I wrote on the 18th of April, so again, it's not the right day. Oh no, actually, I think it's a five. It's just that my writing is so bad, it looks like an eight. But I did write on the right day for that one. Um, this one, things to collect. See, everyone's important information. Um, and then I normally elaborate on the text in the margin. Um, so I would have just been writing about why I want to collect certain stuff, probably. Um, this one, I started a new <laughs> legacy play in The Sims. I wrote that like two days ago. So for the 16th of April, but I only wrote it like last week. Um, Oh yeah, look, 26-4. So probably because I had left this and not filled it in on the day, I came back and wrote about my new legacy play on The Sims. Um, which is fun. Do you know what is nice? It's like not worrying about the dates, first of all, <laughs> but also being able to come back constantly and revisit the pages. Like I feel so involved in all of these pages. I don't just do them and then turn the page and they're done. I'm constantly coming back and interacting with old pages like consistently and it's really nice. Like now when the month is finished, obviously, they'll be done. But throughout the month, to keep going through all the pages constantly is very, like, it's very nice. It feels very, very involved and, and it's really fun. <laughs> so I've been really enjoying that. I know it probably seems really chaotic and disorganized to some of you, but for me, I just, like, it's so nice to be working that fluidly through the whole book. Um, I'm having a good time. <laughs> um, this is the same article, so again, I have that big arrow to show that it continued on. Um down here is some stuff about some stuff <laughs> i won't elaborate um this one is a copied text this is a quote and then here a brain drain and i elaborated on the brain drain underneath the quote which is why there's a little line to show um so this this little bit is separate to these bits um and those lines help me recognize that um some little gaps that's okay though they're not big um this is when i went to yorkshire a couple of weeks ago um, I wrote about it. <laughs> um, this is a quote. I haven't put the grey dot. I really should. I'll put it here and probably draw a line. Um, but I can recognise that it's a quote because it's in a box. Um, and a lot of my own stickers again. Some photos. Again, these photos really helped me to recognise what I was doing and how I was feeling at the time. And it's just nice to have those, those visual clues, I guess. As someone with really bad brain problems. <laughs> Um, it's just nice to have that. So, again, this is from Yorkshire, Robin Hood's Bay. This one is also Robin Hood's Bay. Oh, these all are when I was at the beach. Um, I did this by making a little hinge with tape. Um, someone was asking me recently how you do it, and you just stick tape on both sides where it folds, and then you can make a hinge. This one's not particularly good, but I have another one later on that's a lot better, and I'll show it to you. Um, I use sellotape for this one, so I don't particularly love it, but it, it works. <laughs> um, and it's nice to have an extra image there. Um, again, just some writing, some bits and bobs about my time away, probably. This page, I went to Whitby. Um, same trip. <laughs> um, and I wrote about that. This receipt is degrading, and I don't know why. It's not spreading anymore, but for a couple of days it kept getting worse, and I was like, okay, <laughs> great. Um, I saw John Wick 4 a couple of weeks ago by myself at like two o'clock on a Tuesday. Um, no, 1.40pm on a Saturday, I think. April 15th. Yeah, Saturday. Um, it was really good, I really enjoyed it. <laughs> um, again, I stuck this in like a hinge. I haven't written behind it, but um, I stuck it there just because I thought it would fill the space up a bit. Um, a lot of my pages are, I try to balance them visually for myself. It's not something that I feel like makes sense to describe, but I can feel when it's balanced. <laughs> so before I stuck this in, this felt unbalanced and weird. 
and that's why I stuck it on this day and not like on the 15th. Um, I just needed it to be somewhere where it felt like it made sense rather than where it actually makes sense to be. So this one I was writing about my shop update, I was planning for different shop stuff. I think I also stuck this here to cover where I'd erase some stuff and it looked funny. Um, so again, not perfect, <laughs> just tidy. Um, but I like it there. I think, I guess because it matches the other receipt, it looks kind of good. This was my cassette pages. <laughs> I'm still really loving cassettes, by the way, just FYI. Um, so I was, this is Max Headroom, it's when there was a broadcast hijacking. It's not relevant, I just like weird stuff. Um, this is my cassette player and my little stickers about music. I have the index dots to mark what the images are. Um, this is text about the Max Headroom incident, um, and that's why there's that line to show it connects and then the dot. And then this one is my cassette with the dot. Here, a special interest, I was writing about cassettes. <laughs> um, and then a photo of the cassettes I got. And then my dream cassette player. I put that there with its own sticker and source. Um, and then the line got weird. I don't know what happened. It was partially erased. So I finished erasing yesterday and I need to draw it back in. I just forgot. Um, this line just shows that I was still talking about cassettes. <laughs> so... I think I was talking specifically about the colour of the cassette player, and that's why there's a line connecting it, like, directly. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't love these pages, to be honest. Um, they are growing on me now, but I think I just stuck too much stuff in too quickly. I normally like to have more text pages in the middle, but for these, like, last couple, because I was away, I stuck in so much. And then I stuck all of this in for the cassettes. <laughs> Um, and that's why on this page I made like a, it's not a Dutch door because a Dutch door is literally when you cut the page in half, but it's like in a flap of extra text <laughs> um, because it was too many pictures. Like I had these then as well and the, the printouts from last week that I was working on. And then I stuck in this massive picture of Gerard Way and like this little text thing and like my little Tamagotchi and I was like, oh my God, it's so many pictures. Um, so I broke it up by, by making this flap um, and this is the hinge that I'm really proud of. To make this cutout, what I did was go to the back of the book and I cut out the extra notes page at the end. There's like one blank notes page. And I cut it out like with a knife. And then I made, I cut, I like worked out where the grid lines up and how many squares it needed to be. And I stuck it in and I'm really proud of it. <laughs> like I didn't film it because I knew that if I filmed it, I'd mess it up, but it worked and I'm so proud. And for the reference, the white MT masking tape is like a perfect colour match for the Hobonichi pages, which is such a weird coincidence. And when I stuck it down, I was like, oh damn, like that worked so well. <laughs> so yeah, I stuck that there to break up the images. Like I wanted more text. Um, so it's just brain draining. Um, underneath, I have some thoughts about my shop update from last week. Um, I have some gaps. I'll fill all this in. I just haven't done it yet. Um, but there we go, my bad house vinyl, <laughs> Bella Lugosi is dead, and me, I feel also not so good. Um, and my own, my own cutouts and my own stickers. Um, yeah, it's just my brain on paper. <laughs> um, the last page, so brain drain from last week, you saw me make these pages if you're a regular viewer. Um, my gloomy card to celebrate 50k on the channel. A little bit of memory keeping about it, because I didn't really take the time to think about it when it happened. Um, but there we go. And then I, we're not here yet, we're like 29 or 28 today, but I'll fill it in. And then it'll be May. I don't know how I feel about this green, that's that's what I will say about May. Um, but then June is not a lot better. I do prefer the warmer colours, I'll be happy when we get to September. <laughs> September. <laughs> um, I'll be happy when we get back to a warmer colour. I like this pink. I like this pink. Um, and that's it at the moment in my book. I'm not using any of the back pages right now, um, the favourites or the My 100. Please tell me in the comments, if you got all the way to the end of this video, I'm losing my voice. If you got all the way to the end of this video, please tell me what you use My 100 and My Favourites for. I would love to know. I guess this one's obvious, but tell me what you use in your My 100. Um, it's not too late for me <laughs> to start using it. Let me know. I would love to know. Um, that's it. That's my book. I'm so excited. I really love it. I'll find a better page to end the video on. I really love my book. I'm having a really good time. I never thought I would be here. I never thought that I would feel so at home so quickly in this book, but like I have no desire to change. I'm genuinely so happy. 
Um, <laughs> I don't want to jinx it, but I really love it. I really do. Um, I hope that all made sense for you. I'm using Zebra Mild Liners for my colours. I am using the White Empty Masking Tape. The Zebra 0.7mm Erosable Pen. Stalogy Dot Stickers. My glue stick is a Japanese brand called Glue. I get this from the journal shop. But I have noticed that some of my stuff is peeling back up. I have to keep sticking corners back down. I'm not sure if it's just like peeling with time. But it's not been that long, obviously. This is all from this month and it's starting to peel at the edges. Um, so I'm not sure why it's not saying stuck. <laughs> um, I haven't used glue in a long time. I used to use double-sided tape. So I think maybe it's normal and I just can't remember. But I do like it. That's the glue I use. Um, my ruler is just the Hobonichi pencil board. I'm a big fan because they're so thin and they can be bookmarks and... So it turned out that my phone storage was full. So I lost the last two minutes of the video. Um, thankfully that was all I lost and it didn't cut off like halfway through the entire video because when I took it out of the tripod and I saw that it was frozen I was like oh my god like <laughs> um anyway all I was saying was that I use the Hobonichi pencil board I like it because it's very slim um I can use it as a bookmark and as a ruler I'm a big fan mine is kind of peeling at the edges a little bit while it's wearing out um I have been using it aggressively though for like six months so maybe that's normal um you can make your own just by laminating some card, so I wonder if I might do that. We don't have a laminator though, so I'm not sure how I would, <laughs> but basically I use that. Um, apart from that, I think that's everything, that's all my stationery. Um, and then the last final thing I wanted to say was that I think I'm going to push the UK physical shop update another week, so I'll release it next Saturday, not this Saturday that you're watching it. Um, just because I'm tired and my brain is sand and I'm worried that if I do it now, I won't, I'm not in the right headspace to sort of handle it on the time frames I need to and stuff. I just don't feel ready. <laughs> um, I, I don't know, I don't feel ready <laughs> after the digital shop update and after packing the Patreon orders last time, I just, I'm not there yet. So if it's okay, I will take another week to avoid burnout and then I'll come and do it for you next week. Um, if you watched this far, can you help me spread the word in the comments, please, if people are asking? Um, sometimes I fall behind in replying to everyone, or I miss a couple. Um, my DMs, especially at the moment, are a disaster. Please don't DM me. Like, I'm not seeing anything. It's, it's, it's like, all broken. <laughs> um, so if you don't mind, please help me spread the word. Um, I will work on some new digital stuff next week too for everyone while I'm also preparing the physical shop update. That will be like next week's task is just updates um, back to work basically <laughs> after my week of playing The Sims. Um, okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it was interesting. I really do love my Hobonichi cousin. I really, really do. Um, hopefully you enjoyed the video. I know it's very long, <laughs> but there we go. I was excited. Um, yeah, okay. I'll catch up with you next week. Take care.